Hi guys, another tutorial today. New background, what do you think? Trying to look a bit more professional. Today's tutorial is a unicorn. So before I get started and show you, I want to um, talk a little bit about crowns. I love crowns and I think they're worth that little bit extra. They're a really wow at party. I'm using crowns today, but before I begin, I want to just have a look at something with you. Now, crowns, uh, I tend to find a little bit longer before you start than an ordinary 260. Not much. Just that, there we go, that little bit longer. What I do, and I've done it for this one, is I stretch them before I start. And it gives you much more extra length. I'll give you an idea, there you go. Stretched Chrome 260 against a standard Chrome 260 against an ordinary 260. And all I've done is held it at the nozzle end. And stretched it and that's all it needs is just a good pull through and that gives you that extra length so what I'm going to make for you today is this fella absolutely gorgeous and you can see I've used the chrome for the tail and the mane you don't need to make this section you can just stop at the head um, and the children love it just as much but it is worth just adding those little extras on. So, my camera keeps going out of focus today, so I apologise if I could suddenly go a bit blurry. It's me, not you. Right, so to make this, you're going to need... Grab all the bits. Two 260 white. If you're making it in pink, use pink. Okay, it's up to you what colours. This is what I'm using today. Two 260 chrome stretched in whatever colour that's the mane and the tail. A 260 gold, you're not going to use all of that, that's for the horn. Again, you can use 160 golden rods, you can use yellow, it's up to you what you'd use for the horn. This is just what I prefer. A 160 whatever colour you choose for the muzzle and bridle. The body is a 350, so that needs to match the 260s that you're using for the head and neck. A six inch white for the muzzle, for the nose, and a six inch black. Right, so let's get started. First I want to inflate the two white ones. Not all the way to the end, about three fingers. Put a little air out. And then tie the knots together. Two handfuls. Twist it off and then bring the knot in to make two handfuls. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to make the face. Again, two handfuls, and then you're going to take the rest of the balloon, put a little bit of squeeze back up, and same with the other one. When I'm doing it really fast, I just bring them both up at the same time. Bit of a squeeze, so they're about the same length, and then you're going to do the spiral. For some of you, this will come really easily. Others may just need a bit of practice. So all you're going to do is twist. Wrap them around each other. And that's what you get. So next bit, I'm going to do his nose. That's our white. That's a hand size. When you tie the knot, keep it as tight, close to the nozzle 
as you can. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a bit of a squeeze, twist that off, and then take the nozzle back to the twist a bit to give us a little air twist. Now this is going into this bit here in front. the ear to down, press it down and take it back through. Okay so that's that and next one is the eye. I've dropped the five inch round on the floor, I'll disappear for a second. Hello, oh, back again. Okay, I'm going to split this. So again, about hand size, fairly standard hands. And then split it, just take the nozzle and get it right down for your eyes. This is going to go in here. Just like that. Okay, so the next bit we're going to do is we're going to do the forelock and the main, and we're going to use one, I'm going to use one of my um, chromes. I do think they just add that bit extra wow. I'm going to inflate this all the way to the end and tie off and then that again. fold it in half and just twist off that handful. going to go in where the ears are. Same as you did for the neck. And then twist those together. And I just push one through to lock it. Pull them apart. And just push one through. Now, where you tied these before, you should have just a little bit left. I'm going to do just use those to hold it in place. If you can. rid of that nozzle. Not essential, just tidies it up. Okay, and I've lost one of my ears. Sometimes happens. Right. I'll replace that in a minute. Right. Okay, so next thing I want to do is the bridle. I use a small pump for the 1.6, it just makes things a little bit easier. I'm going to fold it in half, but what I'm going to do is the this end here, I'm just going to shift it on a little bit and you'll see why after this. doesn't need to be much. I take my loop, that's going to go around 260. Now you can just pull it straight in, or I like to pull it down a little bit, which gives that head, if you go a little bit further down the body, gives a curve to the neck and makes it look like it's looking down, which I think looks rather cute. Okay, so at this side, twist those together, and then the nozzle, I'm going to take this 
sure in. And at this end, and this is why we made it a little bit longer, I'm going to twist off a little bubble. Oh, that's only about two fingers, if that. And that's going to then anchor into there where it does. It gives you the middle of the bow. Now these, give them a quick squidge, shape them, and these are the handles. So you can see now that's already looking like a nice little horse that can hold on. Off they go. Okay, we're going to make this into body and the tail and we'll put the horn on at the end. Bodies are 350. Fully inflated but giving a good burp, let quite a bit of air out. Okay, from this end, got three finger bubble, air twist, little tip the nozzle, if it's your first one, push it through, stops it undoing. And at this end, take a little bubble, that round, and wrap it in. Halfway, and split it. Now you've got two options, put the head at either end, it doesn't matter. I like to put it at this end and the tail at this end doesn't matter at all. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to take the um, bit of balloon that's left over from the neck and I'm going to wrap it all in. Okay, switch a couple of the bubbles round, really doesn't matter. Usually put the main bubbles at the back and the other ones chest at the front. So you can already see, you could just leave it at that. Happy child, off they go. Okay, tail, another nicely stretched 260. I'm going to curly cue it. So what I'm going to do is I've wrapped it around my fingers. It's going to be a bit harder for you to see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the nozzle of my pump. And then as I push down, will start to inflate. There we go. Everybody has different ways of doing that. Again, no right or wrong, just your way. What I'm going to do is two pinch twists. Different ways people do them. I do two little bubbles and then split it like that. This is going to go in at the other end here. Wrap them round and secure them. This gives us our tail. So we've got a nice horse. Happy child, off they go. Unicorn. I'm going to get my gold. Again, you can do lots of different ways of doing this. Inflate it and soften it and tie it off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and this usually undoes on me, so we'll see. And I'm just going to pull it tight and I'm going to twist it and wrap it in. So because it was a nice soft bubble, it's going to push in to and now tricky bit now is just tying this bit off and it not unravelling. So I've just managed to give you good practice. Again, I won't practice on the chromes, too expensive, but practice on other 260s and you'll get it. No problems. And all I do with this it goes in on top 
top of the floor lot. Now, this was deaf in one ear, so I'm just going to help him out a little. Grab 260. Just create a petal. Match it up. And then that's it. Jobs are good and so there we go. One unicorn riding. Quick demonstration. Oh. That's my spare one. There we go. There we go. Nice little riding. And the head becomes fully steerable because of the reins. Right, till next time. Bye.